right. Hello, hello. Welcome to Mega Wellness Summit Live. I am live with Artemis Kazane. We are talking about EFT, emotional freedom technique. And this is something that I learned um, quite some time ago. It was um, kind of a foreign concept to me about three years ago where I was like, tapping EFT. I have no idea how this, uh, how this can even work. So what happened was I was working in social work and I was listening to my, one of my favorite shows and it's called the aware show with Lisa Gar. I love her. And so I, I actually became like, like devoted Lisa Gar listener. <laughs> so she had, a. Uh, a few people on talking about EFT. And so I would, um, during the call, tr try it on myself, you know, like all the different points. And so I got quite good at it. And so when, before I started my day, every day, I worked in social work. And so, it, you know, when you work in, in a a career like that it is definitely taxing on the body and the spirit and the psyche and uh, so what I did was every morning I'd get to work and I would go and I'd have my lemon water I'd have my journal which is is right here actually right here this is my journal and every day I would write in it and I would just say everything I was grateful for for the morning. And then I would go into the bathroom at, um, at work <laughs> and I would start tapping. And everyone thought I was probably like really sick all the time every morning because I would spend like 15 minutes in the, in the bathroom downstairs. <laughs> so anyways... That's my little tapping story. So welcome, Artemis. How are you? Oh, I am blessed. I'm so excited to be here with you sharing my experience with EFT and some cool science and essential oils and conscious language and all that fun stuff. I'm excited. Now, for those of uh, you who do not know Artemis, um, Artemis, go ahead and tell them what you do. Tell them who you are. So uh, my name is Artemis Kassane. I've been a practitioner of the healing arts uh, for 16 years. Uh, I started when I was 21 years old. I started young. I have a background in Chinese medicine, neuroemotional technique, muscle testing, essential oils, um, EFT, conscious language, sacred body language, iridology. So I'm a man of many skills. And my current mission in life is to touch 1 million women and families to achieve dynamic health through living water, living foods, and essential oils. And I love what I do. I love, I mean, I enjoy radiant health. I've achieved a great level of health and well being. And now I'm ready to like give it to the world. You asked me to come share about EFT. I was like, I know how to do that. I can teach that. So here I am. Yeah. Yeah, I actually called you and I said, look, I got a missing element here. I want people to know about EFT because I saw that um, on your description for God's Self University. And so that's when I called you. I was like, well, not only do you do essential oils, but you know EFT. And so he was like, yeah, sure. No problem. Let's do it live because it's better um, to see it in person. And, you know, that's absolutely true. Because with Lisa Gar, when I was listening, uh, I don't necessarily think I got the full uh, enchilada, <laughs> the full thing, because I was just listening and then, uh, you know, downloading uh, how to do it. And I read some books. So it's great to have somebody that I can visually see who knows how to do this. And EFT is a very experiential art and science. And so the science of EFT is just knowing the tapping points. The art is feeling your feelings, digging deep into your emotional garden and finding those weeds and pulling them out, you know, with tapping and conscious language and even adding some oils into the mix. And so it is very experiential so that you can see the power of it and see how effective it is for your healing. Right. So how did you get into EFT? 
So in 2001, I was on the internet Googling like angels and gemstones and nutrition and herbs and just trying to seeking, just seeking health and knowledge. And I found Mercola.com in 2001. Uh-huh. Uh, and, you know, Mercola's website, you know, 15 years ago was very different than it is today. It was very simple. He had a lot of practical information right, right up front, teaching you a lot of stuff. And, you know, he's been a huge advocate of EFT and tapping techniques. So he, he released this 30 page PDF on EFT. And I looked at it, read it, did it a few, a few times, and then put it on my bookshelf and let it collect dust. Well, flash forward about 12 years, I listened to this audio training called Your Wish is Your Command, and the teacher in that audio was talking about the Callahan technique. I'm like, Callahan technique? Well, that's also, that's the original technique. Before it was called EFT, it was called the Callahan technique or thought field therapy. Okay. So this this teacher of Your Wish is Your Command was saying, you know, we all have these negative balls of energy from trauma early in life, stinking thinking, limiting attitudes, belief systems that, you know, that suck our life, emotions that are stored in the body. He's like, you can look at these emotions like negative balls of energy. And he said that the way you delete these negative balls of energy is through blowing them out of your channels through tapping techniques. And so he was like, this is an essential technique for your success. So I revisited my work with Mercola and Gary Craig and EFT 15 years ago, and I brought it back into my personal healing. And then I started doing it in my, my healing arts because I work with people with trauma all the time, helping people heal abuse, verbal abuse, shame and guilt and I'm not worthy and I'm not good enough. And, you know, EFT is so effective for all of that. So I brought it back into my practice and I literally started witnessing miracles with EFT. The first miracle was with me though, because when I first got into a full-time coaching, I was still struggling financially. When I started using EFT for my fear blocks around money, my worry, my anxiety, my doubts, my income doubled. Just oh my from- goodness. Yeah. And so- wow. You know, the most important thing for us to understand about emotional freedom technique is it it meets you where you're at emotionally and it helps you become more emotionally intelligent just by doing it every day. You know, a lot of us don't have good emotional intelligence because we thought that anger is wrong and fear is bad and run, forest, run. So don't yeah. feel your feelings. So a lot of us have these these attitudes about emotion, that emotions aren't okay, emotions aren't safe. And particularly like my father's generation, they drank their emotions away. They didn't, you know, men don't normally talk about their feelings. Right. And women, and women are governed and sometimes consumed by their emotions and, and they don't have control over them. So the first thing EFT does for us is it helps us to feel our feelings and fully express what we feel which is such a valuable skill. In modern corporate, corporate America, emotional intelligence is five times more important than your IQ. And if you're a mom or a dad or you're choosing a new career, you gotta know what you're feeling in every moment. Yeah. And, if, and, if you're not, if you, and if you're not emotionally intelligent, you're gonna struggle in life. But the more you do EFT, the more emotionally intelligent you become, the more you can become uh, confident, clear, assertive, faithful, joyful in your life. Right. Thank you. That was excellent. So yeah. the reason why I was attracted to EFT is because of the, um, the way that Lisa really did frame, uh, frame it, what it was good for. So she started with abundance. And so I'm like, I want more abundance in my life. And uh, so it started with abundance. Well, then what I learned from that is that I have these limiting beliefs. And at that time, I lived in Wisconsin and I didn't want to uh, be in my job anymore. I didn't want to live there anymore. I was, I felt very trapped uh, in my situation is what I would say to myself, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. So what happened was, is that I muted these 
uh, limiting beliefs that I could do anything uh, with tapping. And it was just a short time that it started to really cause miracles along with other things that I was doing. But eventually I moved to California. Uh, I, I did a lot of work to get here. <laughs> I did a lot of work <laughs> and still working. Aren't we always students? No end to the journey and the life is a learning, uh, just a beautiful, I mean, earth is school. You know, I love it. Earth school. So we're here to master mastery. We're here to become conscious, awakened, realized beings. And emotions are such a key part of that. And EFT is like, once you learn this tool, you've always got it in your tool belt. It's a great tool. That's right. So how does EFT actually work? So emotional freedom technique is a, a form of psycho neuromotor acupressure. That sounds really complicated. So psycho, mind, emotions, neuro, neurology, working with the nervous system, and then motor, stimulation of our bodies, acupressure, touching the meridians. So it's a way of integrating the mind, the emotions with our words and our meridians of the body. Mm -hmm. And um, I have some images to share. Is it possible for us to share some of that? Yeah, let me go ahead and, and uh, switch here. Great. And how do I do the screen share? Hey. Oh, I see it. So I'm gonna share, go ahead. I'm going to share some images of, of the meridians of the body and the tapping points and what those points signify emotionally because there's so much to EFT that makes it effective. And a lot of it has to do with our meridians. So here are two images. Um, and can you see these, Nikki? I can. Okay. So here are the meridians of the body. Great. And right here on the, on the left side of my screen is all 10 major meridians of the body. And there are actually 14 meridians. And there are 10, in Chinese medicine, there are, there are five yin organs, five yang organs. The yin organs are solid in the body. The yang organs are hollow. So is that cool how we have this perfect balance of yin and yang, solid and hollow? Kidney, solid, bladder, hollow. Stomach, hollow, spleen, solid. So we have these pairs of organs, and we have these pairs of meridians. And the way our organs sustain themselves is through the chakras and meridians. So here's a little energy anatomy 101. The energy comes in through the crown of the head, enters the chakras, moves from the chakras to the meridians, from the meridians back to the chakras. And that's how our organs stay alive energetically. We're more than just the sum of our cells. We actually have these channels of energy called meridians. And when we feel fear and the fear gets stuck in our bodies, it can block the flow of energy in one of these meridians. And so when we use EFT to tap on the kidney meridian, which is right over here, collarbone point. That's where the kidney meridian stops in the body. We can actually blow out that negative ball of energy or clear the fear. And so this is the, the great power of EFT is touching these meridian points. We see here on the right side of my screen, these points all connect to flows of, of energy. Now, when I say energy, I mean thought, word, and feeling. So when we're tapping, we're touching energy flows of thought, word, and feeling that's both conscious and subconscious. Mm -hmm. and we're clearing those, those blockages in those points. And um, I always like to do this on stage when I'm teaching about emotions in the subconscious mind. So, re so repeat after me, Nikki, I think. I think. I feel. I feel. I think. I think. I feel. I feel. I think is your conscious mind, thinking, speaking, doing. I feel is the subconscious mind. So I'm going to stop the screen share here and come back to here I am. So we all have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. And how do we know? How do you know, Nikki, know, Nikki you have a subconscious mind? I don't know. I don't because know how I... Yeah, I mean, the only thing that I really know that 
<laughs> for one, I've been told I have a subconscious mind. And two, I know that I definitely have an unconscious mind. <laughs> at yes. Times. Yes. And Carl Jung put it this way, until we become conscious of what is unconscious, the outer world can rule our lives and we will call it fate. So if we have a lot of fear of lack and worry about not enough and I'm not good enough and that's unconscious, then that pattern will rule our outer world and we'll just struggle on life and call it fate. No, no, no. EFT can help you take what is unconscious and bring it to the conscious mind. Right. And, and also what is subconscious. So unconscious is like your genetics, your lineage. Subconscious is what you feel both consciously and suppressed. And then conscious is just awareness of your being and your thinking and, and doing world. So for example, if someone has eczema, rashes in their skin, that's a fear of separation. And that's also anger and frustration about what you feel. So every symptom in the body, every disease has an emotional component. Now I'm trained in Chinese medicine, NET, sacred body language and conscious language. I can take every disease on the planet and give you its emotional cause. Right. But I can't necessarily heal that cause for that person. That person gets to identify what they have suppressed into their subconscious mind so that they can express that emotion out. So a person with eczema, they have a fear of separation Fear is faith returning. Mm. Like my teacher Bob taught me in conscious language, if you have fear, it's faith returning. If you're sad, it's joy returning. If you resent or feel I won't, it's forgiveness and authority returning. So every emotion can be touched with EFT and transformed if we'll do the work. And so there's a certain law that people need to understand before they start EFT. The first law is you have an emotional body, and it's called your subconscious mind. And if there are things you don't like in your life, in your health, in your career, your finances, it's probably a block somewhere in your subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. Because if our feeling doesn't follow our attention, we'll be off course. If we don't believe we can achieve something, we won't achieve it. And so we want to use tools like EFT to clear the subconscious block and to raise our belief in ourselves, or to clear a fear pattern. And... So the first law is we have a subconscious mind. The second law is emotions don't make sense. Mm. So that's why it's good to have a coach when you're using EFT, because sometimes you're not always aware of what you're feeling or how you're feeling. And people who are really intellectual, like I think I feel, I think I feel is where a lot of people are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're, not yeah. touching, they're, they're not even touching their emotions. Right. They're not emotionally intelligent. They think they feel. So they're, they're trying to use the intellect to figure out what's going on in their symptoms and diseases. And the problems of the mind do not address the level of the mind. That is so true. They're, the problems of the subconscious mind are addressed through feeling and the radiance of our hearts. The, the ability to feel our feelings, love what we feel, and let it go. And that's where EFT comes in because it helps us to touch what we feel as we're tapping on fear. There may be a point here at the stomach or here at the, con at the governing vessel or at the conception vessel or here in the kidney meridian where that fear is actually stored in the body. And when we can name that fear and tap on that fear and love it, we can let it go. And then it's like, it's like your body is like a garden. Your subconscious mind is a vast garden. And you want to go in and name that emotion. You want to tap on it. You want to love it. You want to pull that weed by the root and compost it and make flowers. I love it. So this can help. So Artemis, let everybody know what EFT can help them with. So if you can put them in, you know, name something, you know, more money, weight loss, whatever, yeah. They might be going um, to let them see themselves through this. A lot of people use EFT for anxiety and worry, fear of the future, food cravings. You know, when you're, when you're choosing to change your diet and you feel stuck, move from stuck to clear with EFT. Get, you know, addictions to smoking. Like I'm working with a client right now and helping her overcome her addiction to smoking with EFT and essential oils. Mm -hmm. Helping her, like when she craves that cigarette, I can teach her how to tap and the craving will go away. 
right. one effective tapping session. So if you have cravings, if you have relationship issues and you feel pissed at your partner because he or she won't do something, codependence can be healed with EFT by helping you take the charge off of reactive patterns. Like think about if you're living your life from reacting and you know it, but you can't change it, you can change reacting in your relationships to responding so that you're, you have healthier boundaries. You know who you are. You have a stronger identity. Um, EFT is really good for anything. And there's, you know, when Gary Craig was repackaging thought field therapy and giving it to the world as EFT, he came up with a website called try it on everything because it really works on everything. Yeah. If you have an emotion and you're human, you can use EFT for it. I love it. I love it. Thank you yeah. so much for that. Okay. So um, Gary Craig is the, is the guy who I learned from on Lee Cigar. And um, so I remember, and I haven't done EFT in a while, shame on me, um, because anyways, there's no, no excuse. <laughs> I was trying to spin the wheels of excuses. So, so, um, so, down, Nikki, so you're, you're the founder of Mega Wellness Summit. You reach tens of thousands of people worldwide. There's a saying from Napoleon Hill, we, we teach best what we endeavor to learn. So why do you have me here today? That's right. So you can learn what you love to teach. That's right. That's right. But there was a script. So there was the tapping, right? Mm -hmm. But then we had to, ver I remember verbally saying something. Yes. Okay. So why don't you, can you demonstrate how this works with the tapping and what to verbally say. So for the person who is on the call right now saying that they have, you know, fibromyalgia pain or they have constant headaches or they have, they're totally stressed out, um, give them something to take away with right now. Yeah, and um, I also have a free training video on the five effective keys to a successful tapping session, and I have a PDF. This is all available later after the show. Yes, um, I will post that for everybody. Yeah, so like, you know, EFT is a life study, so we're only going to give you a drop in the bucket today, which is a great introduction. And the script goes, you know, what are you feeling in your body? So first you have to identify, am I feeling fear or overwhelm or sadness or grief? Or am I feeling just worried? You just name the emotion. And, and the standard script goes, even though I feel fear, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Now, I have found some few upgrades with that script. One, I found that I deeply and completely love and honor myself, or I just love and honor myself. Works as well as I love and accept myself. I found that honoring oneself is more, more powerful than acceptance. Um, and so... You name the emotion, even though I feel sad or even though I feel fear, and you're saying this while you're tapping, and you start to move through the, the meridian points. So that's the standard script. It gets a little old and monotonous. Mm -hmm. So today when I demonstrate EFT, I'm going to be using more advanced scripting as a way to help the person go deeper into their feelings and maybe go back to the original event, the first time in their life they feel that emotion and became trapped in the body. And that's like a, a higher level form of, of EFT is when you can take the current stressor and you can connect it to the original event, the first time in your life you felt that emotion. And there are, there are many other word patterns that you can use. And those who get good at EFT after watching my video and, and get, finding a coach, they'll find words that literally, literally, Nikki, like your heart begins to speak. Mm -hmm. It'll start happening with EFT. You know, you start with the, the standard script that we teach you today and then give yourself permission to say new and evolved things because it starts creating miracles in the heart. It's really That's cool. right. That's right. You know, I always felt like a little mm -hmm. bit fear fearful for some reason to step outside the script. So that's fantastic because if you're giving it upgrades, that makes me feel like, well, I could give it upgrades too. And it will still work. Yeah when you put a personal touch on it, because I was so feeling like I had to stay in the script box or else it wasn't going to work. Yeah. The magic was yeah. going to go away. And you know, that's where EFT becomes vain repetition and it starts to lose its effectiveness. You know? uh -huh. So 
what I bring to EFT is conscious language and the ability to use our words consciously, first person, personal, specific outcome oriented. So for example, if you're tapping on fear and you start in the cry chop point and you can really, you know, you really feel fear about something, you can let it be okay. Yeah. You know, it's okay, I feel fear. And you're and all the while you're saying these words, it's okay, I feel fear. I can love the fear and let it go. I deeply and completely love and honor myself. Even though I feel fear, it's okay. And when you're when a person is going into an EFT session, that okayness is what we call the harmony point. And in all the master emotional counselors and all the master neuroscientists in our culture today, the one thing we all agree on is this harmony point. It's like if you're going to clear a pattern, first you have to let it be okay before you can clear it. Because what a lot of people do with fear and anger is they touch and run. With EFT, I'm asking you to touch and stay. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. I do. Yeah. The reason people don't get what they want in life, whether it's money, career, relationships, is because they haven't become aligned emotionally with what they want. And if they have suppressed patterns, they got to touch and stay to transform those patterns. They got to dig deep into their garden. So it's okay. I feel fear or it's okay. I'm sad. It's okay. I feel overwhelmed. That okayness is a really key um, platform to catapult into a better EFT session. Just tell yourself it's okay. You know, let it be okay that you're stressed out, frustrated, angry, fearful, worried, overwhelmed, and then name it even more and love it and transform it with the tapping techniques. I love that acceptance. If you can, um, let's go over the tapping points. Mm. Okay. So, um, in, in, in I'm going to do it with you. Okay, good. So the first point we're going to start with is on the karate chop point. Now this point is right here. You can do it with two fingers or four fingers. Okay. I'm doing it with four. Yeah. And you can do it. Everybody do this together. Oh yeah. Everybody watch. Yeah. Everybody watch. Do it. Yeah. If you're listening and driving, do not do this while you're driving. Good point. <laughs> Very good point. If I you have, want to I join us on the road, pull over, park, <laughs> and then start tapping with us, please. Very good uh, point. So if you're seeing it how comfortable at home, just start tapping right here. And this is the small intestine meridian. So this point, and I'm going to go over some of the emotions. Is that okay? Yes. And for those who are on the phone... This is, uh, and cannot see us, so this is um, where I'm taking my right hand, and right below my pinky, we're tapping on the side of our hand. And yeah, they call it the karate chop point. Yeah. Yeah. So this is small intestine meridian. So this is where we clear our feelings of overwhelm, of insecurity, of feeling like we can't separate the good and the bad in life. You know, the small intestine is about separating the pure and impure. So the small intestine is about security. So keep in mind, as we go through these points, there's emotional charges and states of consciousness, thought, word, and feeling that are inside all of these points. So the karate chop point is the first point we start with. And the second point is on the top of the head at the governing vessel. And they call this the, the thousand meeting point. And this is where we start to heal the monkey mind. Oh, and you can yeah. use one hand or you can use two hands. Now, I prefer two hands because it's left and right brain integration. Now, after we tap the top of the head, this, this third tapping point in the chart is right above the eyebrows. And you can do it with one hand or two hands. And this is your um, eyebrow point, which is specifically the bladder meridian. And so this is where we release trauma and hurt and mm. restlessness, listlessness, you know, not feeling supported feeling stuck at this point is where we release those energies. The side of the eye is the fourth point, and this is gallbladder. And Chinese medicine, gallbladder is resentment into forgiveness mm. and having authority, strong will. Under the fifth point in the se- sequence is under the eyes. This is your stomach. A lot of people have tension in their solar plexus. So as we tap the stomach point, it's about releasing that that stomach block of fear, anxiety, worry. 
the next point in the sequence is under the nose. Mm -hmm. And this point um, is a very powerful point because it has to do with the governing and conception vessel, which are the two first meridians that form in the womb. So this is where we heal shame and guilt, right here. Under this point, the next point is on the chin, and this is the conception vessel. It's the central meridian of the body. This is where we clear confusion and embarrassment and shame. Mm. The next point is the collarbone point. Now, this point is, is right under the neck, right here. Some people go out here, and that's also okay, but this is more lung point. The, the true tapping point is collarbone right here. Am I doing it right? Yes, you are. Yeah, you're right on it. Okay. And this collarbone point is right underneath the collarbone, and it is kidney. And a lot of us have issues in partnership or kidneys or fear, and fear becomes faith. And so this is where we remove those kidney blocks, is right here. And then the, the last point um, is on the left side of the body, under the armpit, and this is the spleen point. And spleen is self-confidence, self-love, self-worth. I can and I am. And this point is often tender in a lot of people. Yeah. You feel it? Yes, it is tender. Yeah. Yeah, and that's normal. It's not, it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. That's oh, just, your, okay. it's just your lymphatic system and you're kind of, you're touching those, those very soft muscles underneath the, uh, the armpit. Okay, good. Uh, some bonus points you can do is you can tap the wrists. So I'm going to teach you some advanced tapping points too. So you can tap the wrists. And so you can tap the inner, inner side of the left hand on the wrists. And you can tap there. And then you can also tap the right hand. And these are really nice just extraneous points or bonus points to tap. Other points that I like to tap, after you tap the spleen point under the armpit on the left side, Okay. You can also tap uh, the floating ribs. And so I'll turn my camera down and show you. So you can tap right here. And these are, these are more kidney and gallbladder points. On both sides? On both sides, yeah. Four fingers. Yeah. And what you'll notice in a real EFT session, when we can name a pattern. Oh, by the way, those are the tapping points. So we did it. Bravo, Yay. bravo. Yeah. And what's really powerful about EFT is with daily or weekly practice, you'll notice that some of these points in your body are more tender than others. That's where the emotion is stored. That's where the blockage in the meridian is. That's where maybe a memory or a past trauma that you suppressed is coming to the surface for clearing. So as you're doing EFT, the, the important thing to know is that you get better with practice and you're going to feel these points in your body wake up, come alive again. Yeah, and that's, where the, that's where the emotional intelligence comes in. That's where you begin, you become more conscious of your emotions and what you may be holding on to. And now you have a tool, EFT, to let them go and yeah. transform them. I love it. Can we put it to the script? So because I, I did hear that that enhances your um, experience with it. Yeah. So um, let's do overwhelm. Okay. <laughs> Is that a good one? That's a good one. Overwhelm yeah. or, or, um, or fear. We could do fear. Yeah. I think everybody has fear. And fear is actually a healthy emotion. Um, is it? You know, yes. Yeah. Like, like before we go into tapping on these, these negative emotions, the thing about emotion is that it's neither right nor wrong. Thinking makes it so. Um, you know, like yeah. Shakespeare said, things are neither good nor bad. Thinking makes it so. So when we right. judge our emotions or when we don't want to feel an emotion, we suppress it. And that's why wow. we need EFT to re-express an emotion. So emotions are all energy. And the reason we would tap is to take a stuck fear and just get it moving again. You know, so we don't want to allow fear to become stuck in our body or sadness or anger. We want to name it, tap on it, and go from stuck or, or blocked energy to moving energy because fear motivates us to action. Yeah. 
you know so it's it's not that fear is bad or wrong it's just an emotion that creates action and action is led by faith or sometimes faith is led by action so in this class today i'm teaching at many levels of consciousness and so i say things that will make our audience stretch mm -hmm. you know, so, and, and you you might want to watch the recording again and, and contemplate you know some of the things i've said because they're profound you they know are. like fear is fear is faith return mm -hmm. fear leads to action and faith and faith also is led by action so if you've been stuck in a fear pattern and you become conscious of it sometimes you just tap on it and take an action and then faith returns just by that one tapping session you did and the actions you knew you need to take and and then when you tap away the fear suddenly taking that action is 10 times easier because you tapped in the fear and you got you moved from stuck to clear so let's tap on fear okay let's okay. do it now this is just very general basic tapping this is not a true eft session because in a true EFT session, we would have to name the fear. Fear of what specifically? Where do you feel it in your body? I can name it. it. I can do it. Okay. You can name it? Okay. Let's do it. Fear of what? Fear of what? Fear of not being successful. Yeah, fear of not being successful. Okay, so let's play with this a little bit and just repeat after me, Nikki. I feel fear. I feel fear. I'm not going to be successful. I'm not going to be successful. Say it again. I feel fear. I feel fear. I'm not going to be successful. I'm not going to be successful. Where do you feel that fear in your body? My stomach. Yes. And so notice the tension in your stomach. Yeah. On a scale of one to 10, how much is your fear of not being successful? An eight. An eight. Okay. So let's just start tapping on it with the conscious awareness that it's in your stomach and you're feeling fear. So tap the cardio chop point. Repeat after me. I feel fear. I feel fear. Of not being successful. Of not being successful. Take a deep breath in. I feel that for you. Even though I feel fear of not being successful. Even though I feel fear of not being successful. I love and honor myself just the way I am. I love and honor myself just the way I am. I deeply and completely love and honor myself. I deeply and completely honor myself. Just the way I am. Just the way I am. Tap right here on top of the head. Even though I feel all this fear. Even though I feel all this fear. In my mind and body. In my mind and body. I love and accept myself just the way I am. I love and accept myself just the way I am. Tap on top of the eyes right here. Bladder meridian. Say with me, all this fear in my mind and body. All this fear in my mind and body. I now can let it go. I now can let it go. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and let go. Tap on the side of the eyes right here. It's safe to let this fear go now. It is safe to let this fear go. I now choose to love and honor myself. I now choose to love and honor myself. And I can let the fear go. And I can let that fear go. Take a deep breath in. Tap under the eyes right here. All this fear in my mind and body. All this fear in my body. I now let it go. I now let it go. Tap under the nose. It's safe to let it go now. It's safe to let it go now. Because I deeply and completely. Because I deeply and completely. Love and honor myself. Love and honor myself. Just the way I am. Just the way I am. Tap on the chin. Take a deep breath in. So now tap on your collarbone point, and we're going to go into a new sequence of words. So repeat after me. I choose to transform all of this fear. I choose to transform all of this fear. This fear of not being successful. This fear of not being su successful. Into my faith. Into my faith. I have faith in myself. I have faith in myself. I choose to transform all of this fear. I choose to transform all of this fear. Into my faith. Into my faith. Now I want you to fill in the blank for me and tell me faith in what? 
I have faith. I have faith that Mega Wellness Summit is extremely successful. Yeah. I have money to pay all of my bills. So repeat after me. I have faith my Mega Wellness Summit is extremely successful. My Mega Wellness Summit is extremely successful. Tap on the, the under the arm point right here. Say it again. I have faith. I have faith. My Mega Wellness Summit. My Mega Wellness Summit. Is extremely successful. Is extre extremely successful. Transforming lives all over the world. Transforming lives every day in every way all over the yeah. world. So look, keep your eyes open. Look at me. So okay. Tap right here. Okay. We're just going to start building the, the positive, transforming pattern of fear and of faith. Repeat after me. I have faith in myself. I have faith in myself. I have faith Mega Wellness Summit is extremely successful. I have faith that Mega Wellness Summit is extremely successful. Now say I have faith my Mega Wellness Summit. I have faith that my Mega Wellness Summit is extremely Can successful. Cancel that. You stuck that in there. I did? Yeah, yeah I, I okay. have faith that my, no, no, no. Say I have faith. I have faith. My mega wellness. Summit. My mega wellness summit. You feel the difference? Yes, I own okay. it. Yeah, you own it. It's not that summit out there. It's yeah. your summit. I, it's my summit. Yeah, my mega wellness summit is extremely successful. My mega wellness summit is extremely successful. Yeah. And I just I added some words like transforming lives all over the world is a nice, you know, transforming support. lives. Yeah, tap right. I have faith. I have faith. My mega wellness summit. My mega wellness summit is, is extremely, extremely successful. successful. Transforming lives. Transforming lives. All over the world. All over the world. I have faith in myself. I have faith in myself. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I believe in mega wellness summit. I believe in mega wellness summit. And I have faith mega my mega wellness summit. I have faith. My Mega Wellness Summit is extremely successful. Is extremely successful. Transforming lives all over the world. Transforming lives all over the world. Take a deep breath in. Now we just went through the point sequence again. You're halfway. Yeah. Take another deep breath in. Deep, deep breath in. Take another deep, deep, deep breath in. Now hold at the top. Hold for about four seconds. Slow eternal exhale. I'm just seeing and visualizing all the great things Mega Wellness Summit has already done for people's lives. We're seeing your summit go out in abundant sales, prosperity, touching and transforming tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of lives all over the world, teaching a mind, body, heart, spirit, health, mm. wealth, happiness. Feel your faith that your Mega Wellness Summit is extremely successful, touching and transforming tens of thousands of lives worldwide. Woo! I love it. <laughs> so now on a scale of one to 10, where's your fear of not being successful? I have, I have zero. Yeah, so that's an effective EFT session right there. That was awesome. Yeah. So I'm gonna actually, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm, I'm a lucky gal because I can go ahead and do this over and over and over again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you were a client of mine, I would, I would lead you in that imagination. I would have you write down this prayer, fear is faith returning. Okay, we name the fear, tap on it, take the charge away. Fear and I choose to transform the fear into my faith. Faith in what? My mega wellness summit is successful. Yeah. That's your that's your heart. I'm not yeah. putting those words. That's you. That's your faith. And so you write that down. And then I would ask you to write down 10 other things that make that true in your heart of hearts. Now that it's been five years, 
-hmm. what is the Megawana Summit doing for the world? And you start, it, through imagination, writing that faith out. You right. start seeing the end from the beginning, and you write it out. And then that would be your morning prayer, EFT practice, is you would look at that, and you would tap. Just faith. I love it. And what a gift what? to the world. I mean, this is another, another healing modality in our toolbox. Yeah. It really is. You and know, I love it. Where, where a lot of EFT falls short is what I just did with you there. You know, a lot of EFT just is to name what's negative and let it go. No, no, no. We want to name it and change it. That's right. The most important question to ask yourself about your negative emotions is what does this turn into? Mm -hmm. What does sadness turn into? Joy. Joy about what specifically? Diabetes in our culture, there's not enough sweetness in, in their life. Mm. So people with diabetes don't have enough sweetness, which means it's a block in the pancreas and the adrenal. Adrenals are joy. Pancreas is about receiving and utilizing your nutrition and receiving the sweetness of your life. So yeah. if I'm working with a person with diabetes, I know that diabetes started in an emotional trauma of, of hate or shame or resentment. And they get to touch that with love and flip it into right. I now receive the sweetness of my life. How and what way specifically is going to be unique for each diabetic person. So the question to ask yourself when you're tapping on your negative emotions is what does this turn into? Right. And you get to reinforce and yeah. build and strengthen in your life. Right. And this is why, um, this is what's missing in a lot of tapping programs is this concept I'm teaching. So do you have a way that we can <clears throat> get access to the, to the verbiage? Because that, that whole thing that you took me through, I'm going to need to write it out. Yeah. And, you know what I, I do mean? Have that, a PDF. Takes some, that takes some time. Yeah, I do have a PDF. Um, can we get that to everybody? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll email it to you and you can send it out. Now, the PDF is not going to be exactly what I led you through because I kind of coached you through it and then into the reversals, so into faith. So that's unique to this t moment in time here now. I love it. Um, Let's talk about ways you can enhance EFT. Um, okay. One of the ways you can enhance EFT is breath. And it's okay. So just breathe and let it be okay. Whatever you're feeling, let it get bigger. Let it be okay. If, if you have essential oils in your life and you want to start incorporating essential oils in EFT, two of my favorite oils for fear are Young Living Stress Away or Young Living Frankincense. And what you would do in an effective essential oil EFT session is you would take the oil and you would start applying it to your head and all those tapping points. And it would start to release even more emotion, more suppressed emotions, thoughts, feelings, because essential oils are powerful tools to help us express what we feel through our sense of smell. So you can take like frankincense or lavender or stress away and you can put it on your body before you do an EFT session or after an EFT session. And then it helps seal the deal. It helps anchor and transform that emotion at a deeper level. So mm -hmm. we talked about breathing. We yeah. talked about letting it be okay. Using your oils because your oils will help you feel your feelings more and it will clear energetic blocks as you apply them to the meridian points. Be careful to avoid the eyes, but just focus on these points right here, collarbone point. Also, kidneys and lower back is a really good point to rub the oils on if you're feeling blocked in partnership, relationship, okay. things like that. In addition to breath, okayness, self-acceptance, and oils, drink water. You want to be hydrated before an EFT session. You want to drink lots of water after an EFT session because our water represents our emotional body. And in order for all these neurotransmitters and neuropeptides to flow when we're doing an EFT session, they flow through pathways of water. So you need to be hydrated. So um, I love that. I use my essential oils every single day. Um, I'm at my parents' house right now. I don't, you probably may have seen my dad come by. My <laughs> sweet, sweet father. Um, I saw him. You did. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm here at, at their house cause it's spring break right now. And, and so my kids, uh, I wouldn't be able to do this show if I wasn't here. So thank you, mom and dad. Um, but woo -woo. 
they yeah. this is their this is their room and um so i i brought them i brought my essential oils here you know even though my mother has like she has a whole kit and kaboot i mean literally her her whole kit is huge i she has probably thousands of dollars worth of essential oils. <laughs> she's yeah, the one I who live, taught me how to, yeah, she's the, yeah. she's the one who taught me really how to use the oils. And, um, yeah, I've, I'm really, really spoiled when it comes to, uh, you know, healthy living with my mom because she's the one who's my healer in my family. She's the healer. Yeah. She knows yeah. everything. She's like, a, she's like a you, Artemis. She knows tapping. <laughs> I mean, she really is. I mean, she knows Chinese medicine. I mean, literally, you should see the books that she has in her, in this room. I mean, wow. Do you see that? Yeah. So I that's, see. It's a that's that. It's, yeah. So that's just, um, that's like a quarter of the books. Yeah. Well, you should see the oils I have <sighs> in my little, you know, apothecary here. I'm surrounded by essential oils. You are. I love them. They're actually in every room of my house. I have diffusers in every room of my house. And, you know, when we use the oils on a daily basis, we bring more oxygen and life force into our lives. And so the, the value of, of incorporating aromatherapy with EFT or just aromatherapy in your life is to infuse yourself with oxygen and also to bring more electrical uh, frequency. Essential oils have the highest electromagnetic frequency of any substance known to man. Mm -hmm. So if we have it, if we feel stuck in our solar plexus, we can take an oil like stress away or Ylang Ylang, which is a great oil for low self-esteem or fear. And we can rub that oil and it's high electrical frequency will move the energetic block while we're consciously tapping and letting it go. So the oil is like a bulldozer. It comes in electrically and, and through oxygen and through frequency. Right. And it makes it easier for us to let go. And it, there are certain essential oils like stress away and frankincense and vetiver and cedarwood that actually repair damaged DNA. Essential oils are, do, are scientifically documented to help take negative genetic expression or damaged DNA and re, reverse that damage. So that's another reason to put the oils on topically while you're doing an EFT session so you can drive the oils all the way at the, to the DNA level and yeah. transform your genes. Right. And so there's so many benefits to the oils for emotional healing and physical healing because they're oxygen, they're frequency, and they're also moving into the cells and repairing our DNA. I'm really yeah. 92 years young. Just kidding. Yes, no, you are. <laughs> You're looking great. Um, you know, and Artemis and, and his wife, um, Crystal, they also taught a, a, a I want to say it a show, it's a class on uh, healing uh, your hormones with essential oils. And so I, I was totally blown away with how you, I wish everyone could see this, this video with you because you did, you blew up a balloon and then you dropped some lemon oil on the balloon and the balloon popped within a second. And that's because that the oil just, went inside that plastic and was trying to like kill all the nasty chemicals and so it popped and that was a i mean fantastic visual for all of us it's literally ingrained in my brain that i'll never forget that every time i put an essential oil on that it's just going straight to you know the cell and healing the cell yeah the balloon trick really proves the power of essential oils to into the cells um, because they're fat soluble. So as it's dissolving the balloon, it also goes in and cleanses our cells. It, it dissolves the toxins of the balloon, popping it, and it dissolves toxins in our body, both physically and emotionally. Right. And we'll have some more information on essential oils available to our viewers as well, because they're just such great tools to have for your family health care yeah. or for your EFT life, your emotional well-being. That's very them. true. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I love them as well. And also, I will replay, I'll give you guys a link um, so you guys can replay um, Artemis and I's, our, the show that we did on essential oils. Um, I believe that was last week. <laughs> yeah, oh, this, whole, this whole three weeks is a blur. 
What day yeah. is it? Who am I? What? <laughs> What's my name? Who's my daddy? What's my name? <laughs> okay. um, just within this last like few minutes, I was hoping that somebody would be able to come on and go through what I just went through because a lot of people are, are dealing with some heavy stuff here. And so mm -hmm. I would love to help them today by going through, would that be okay with you? Yes, yeah, so let's bring okay. that person in. Do I, I hope that somebody would be, um, you know, okay with coming on. So here's, here's a couple of ways you can come on and, and participate here. I, I highly encourage you to do this and however you can uh, get that courage in, within you and, and raise your hand and say, I will do this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to manage participants and you'll see raise hand. Click on that and then I'll call on you and I'll unmute you, okay? There's another way you can do it by going to the chat box, okay? Um, and you can go ahead and message me privately and I'll go ahead and un unmute you or you can message to the entire group. So the third way is you can press star six and that will also unmute you. Lots of ways we can he help people here today. And you I know, know some people, go some ahead. people may feel a little uncomfortable doing a session you know, in front of others. So if you are, that's perfectly fine. And, and for those who are, are willing to receive this work, please unmute yourself. Shara, do we have, are you on? Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you. Hi, Shira. Do you want to wow. be on uh, camera? Um, whatever, if I know what to do. Okay, I just get, asked you uh, to start your video. Uh, where do I click? Oh, start my video. Yeah. There Hi. she is. Hi, Shira. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, Artemis, take it away. So, Shira, I like to start a good EFT session. Can you hear me well? I can hear you beautifully. Actually. Good, good. So I like to start a good EFT session just through a symptom of your body. So give me a symptom you're experiencing. It can be pain anywhere in your body. It could be like tension in the neck or a rash or like, do you have a symptom you're currently working on? I do. It's... Um an uneasy digestive system with bloating and gas. Okay, so you're feeling bloated. Um, can you give me the, the first time in your life you started to experience this bloating? Do you remember when that was, when the digestion start going, started going south? I don't remember from my youth, but um, I had a flight on the 17th of February, and when I got off the plane, <clears throat> I was in bed for two weeks of agony. Mm. Uh, like, I believe it's that kind of thing with, with I wanted to die. It was, it was horrible yeah. gas and pain. And so, then, right, then, right there, you, you just nailed it, Shara. Do you feel the tension in your body when you start describing that airplane flight? I do. Yeah. So, we're going to tap on that right there, because you nailed it. Yeah, so take, take your right hand and start tapping on the cry chop point. And so now we're going to help you connect with the emotion of being on that flight and coming off of that plane. And what were you, what were you feeling then? Name the emotion. Um, I was feeling fine about everything until the day after I got off the flight and it hit me. Yeah, say it again, it hit me. It hit me. It hit me. It hit me. Yeah, and what's the emotion? What's the emotion about that? Oh, it's tears and kriyas and horror. Yeah, fear. Fear of what? I said tears. Tears. Okay, so sadness. Sadness yeah. about sadness about what? The day after you got off the plane. About a big trauma that I had about a ten days before I left. Yeah, breathe. Well, my best friend of five years betrayed me and told me I was no longer welcome in her house. Yeah, 
Take a deep breath in, Shira. You're doing great. Just tell yourself it's okay. It's okay. Say it's okay. It's okay. I can heal this. I can heal this. I can feel my feelings. I can feel my feelings. And I can love what I feel. And I can love what I feel. Say that again. I can feel my feelings. I can feel my feelings. And I can love what I feel. I can love what I feel. So I'm going to replay back to you what you just said to me in real time emotional intelligence. And we're going to tap on that. So this is, you feel sad about being betrayed by your friend. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So repeat after, keep tapping right here. Say, I feel sad. I feel sad. About being betrayed by my friend. About being betrayed by my friend. And can you name your friend? Is that okay? Or do you want to keep him in the silence? Yeah, so the name is important for specificity. When we, when we tap on a trauma, specificity brings feeling. So repeat after me, even, even though I feel sad about being betrayed. Even though I feel sad about being betrayed. By my friend Pat. By my friend Pat. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Take a deep breath in. Feel your body relax. Tap right here on top of the head. And just say all the sadness in my mind and body. All the sadness in my mind and body. About being betrayed. About being betrayed. I can love the sadness now and let it go. I can love the sadness now and let it go. Tap right here on top of the eyes. It's safe to let the sadness go now. It's safe to let the sadness go now. Yeah. I can I can breathe and let this go. I can breathe and let this go. Take a deep breath in. Take a deeper breath in now. Exhale. Tap on the side of the eyes. It's safe now to let the sadness go. It's safe now to let the sadness go. Because I tap under the eyes right here, because I deeply and completely love and honor myself. Because I deeply and completely love myself. And tap under the nose right here and take a deep breath in. You're doing great, Shara. Deep breath in. And repeat after me and say, it's okay now. It's okay now. I can love all of this sadness and let it go. I can love all of this sadness and let it go. Breathe. Tap on the chin right here. And now tap on the collarbone point. And I'm going to ask you a question while you're tapping on your collarbone point. Is it time to forgive your friend Pat for betraying you? Yes or no? Your head just said no. Okay, take your head like this and go like. <laughs> say yes, it's time to forgive her. Yes. Yeah. Breathe, girl. You're doing great. Our emotional body is three years old all day long, so you're just like a little girl. You're betrayed by your best friend. You now you just got to take, take sadness and reverse it with love. Because at one point, you, you, you loved her immensely, and you still love her. So you just got to just love, feel, touch, breathe, stay. Is it time to forgive Pat? Is it time to forgive Pat? I asked you first. Okay. Yeah. So tap right here on the on the. This is the second level of emotion. So repeat after me. I feel anger at Pat. I feel anger at Pat. Yeah, for betraying me. For betraying me. Breathe. Feel the anger. Let it get bigger. Yeah. So now we're at anger and sadness, which is anguish. So now you're feeling the anguish of her betrayal. Let it be okay. Repeat after me. It's okay. It's okay. Even though I feel all this anger in my mind and body. Even though I feel all this anger in my mind and body. I love and honor myself. 
Tap on top of the head. I can let the anger go. I can let the anger go. I can forgive Pat. I can forgive Pat. Take a deep breath in. Tap on top of the eyes. I can forgive Pat. I can forgive Pat. And I will forgive her and let this go. And I will forgive her and let this go. Yeah, Pat, I forgive you. I love and honor you just the way you are. Take a deep breath in. You're doing great, Shira. Breathe. Yeah, yeah. The tears are good. If you have some Kleenex, do you have Kleenex close? Yeah, just go ahead and wipe your face. Good job, girl. You're doing great. Tap right here into the eyes. And say, Pat, I now forgive you. I love and honor you just the way you are. I love and honor you just the way you are. Tap under the nose. Say, Pat, I now forgive you. I love and honor you just the way you are. I love and honor you just the way you are. And any and all anger, I now let it go. And any and all anger, I now let it go. Because I love you, Pat. Because I love you, Pat. I love and honor you just the way you are. I love and honor you just the way you are. Tap on the chin point. Take a deep breath in. Come back right up here to the stomach point. Take a deep breath in. You're doing great. So we went from sadness into anger, into anguish, into forgiveness, into acceptance of her, into honoring her and letting her go. Repeat after me, I now receive. I now receive. I now receive with ease. I now receive with ease. Yeah, and it's safe to receive again. It's safe to receive again. Take a deep breath in. I now receive. I now receive. I now receive with these. Tap right here on the collarbone point and just say, I now receive with ease. I now receive with ease. And it's safe to receive again. And it's safe to receive. I receive. I receive. I now receive with ease. I now receive with ease. And it's safe to receive again. Tap right here under the armpit. Say it again. I now receive. I now receive. I now receive with ease. I now receive with ease. And it's safe to receive again. And it's safe to receive again. Tap on the karate chop point right here. Say it again. I now receive. I now receive. I love and honor Pat just the way she is. I love and honor Pat just the way she is. I, I love her with all of my heart. Take a deep breath. I love her with all my heart. I love her with all my heart. And I now receive. And I now receive. I now receive with ease. And now receive with ease. So here's where we want to use like peppermint oil and enzymes and lots of, you know, healthy digestive support, you know, bitters, you know, you want to, you want to take this, this forgiveness forward, you know, and support your digestive system. The bloating, the bloating that you were experiencing, Shiro, was not being able to digest the emotion of betrayal. When you walked off that plane, there was so much emotion that you couldn't digest it. So what we're doing right now is we're digesting it. We're, we're loving it. We're forgiving her and letting it go. And you want to keep riding this, this train of receiving and digesting and allowing and receiving and digesting and allowing. And you'll need some physical support 
like peppermint oil in your water, lemon water, apple cider vinegar in your salad dressings, enzymes or HCL at the end of your meals. You want to combine the prayer I receive and the prayer of forgiveness with the oils and herbs of digestion. And you want to start receiving again. Does that make sense? Yeah, repeat after me, I now receive. I now receive with ease. I now receive abundantly. I now receive abundantly. Yes, you do. Wow. And every time you take that, that H, yeah, every time you take that formula, you say that. Every time you drink some peppermint water, you say that prayer until it lands in your heart, until, it be, until you become receiving. I love it. Thank you so much, Shira, for having, thank you so much, Shira, for having the courage to come on and, and clear this within yourself. I know that has to be extremely heartbreaking. And I'm so happy that you were able to have this session with Artemis today. And um, you're such a brave, courageous woman. I honor you today. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and, and mute you. And, um, Hi, and let's say goodbye to Shira. Thank you. Thank you, Artemis. I love you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. All right, so we are um, definitely over our time, but I just want to say thank you so much. And Artemis, you're fantastic. I think that was that was uh, groundbreaking. Yeah, I mean, you got to see an advanced EFT session with a little bit of body language and some conscious language. And um, you know, emotions don't make sense. It's important that we 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 need a coach sometimes to help us touch what is untouchable and love what's unlovable. And we we saw that demonstrated in Sarah because her conscious mind could not connect that she was undigested in her betrayal. That's right. And so I, I was there to facilitate, ask questions, get to the, the root cause. And then we just use EFT as a tool to move the energy. We went from stuck, sadness and anguish into forgiveness and receiving. And, and that's why we have EFT in our life is because it's a tool to move that energy. That's right. Yeah. Now, Artemis, you, you are a faculty member of God Self University. So what I will do is um, give everybody a link to connect with you through God Self. So when they click on um, your name, it will take them to God Self. They can connect you, connect with you there. That's yes. Okay. Yeah. And then also I have a, a free bonus video training for everyone watching today on five effective keys of tapping. And we also have some more information on the essential oils too. And I have lots of charts and training videos on that to bring the oils. And when you watch the five effective keys of tapping, you're going to see me recommending Valor and very powerful essential oil blends. So, I love it. I will have every, every uh, bonus up on the page for you guys tonight at five. So you guys can go ahead and uh, listen to this again tonight. Uh, you have 24 hours to go ahead. Hopefully it downloads in time. Whenever it doesn't download in, or upload to uh, YouTube in time, I will give you extra time, no worries. So you can go back and, and re-listen to this and um, claim your bonuses. So thank you so much, Artemis. You are an, uh, amazing. I appreciate you with all my heart. Everybody who's on the call, thank you so much. I, I can't be, I can't express my gratitude that you took this time this hour and uh, 15 minutes to be with us on the call and to hang out with us. It's been an absolute pleasure. So thank you so much, Artemis, and have, have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye.